Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Twisted Goddess Tarot. This is Poetry. Um, I'm doing a, a different kind of reading this morning, something I normally do not do. I am doing a celebrity reading, and I'm doing it for somebody who did not ask. And I'm doing it for someone who may possibly no longer be with us. Um, in addition to, I normally don't read reversals, but I'm going to keep the reversals in the deck shown at this time. I wanted them to uh, show as they fail. This is Sunday morning. Can't get the date show. 7 12 a 6 10 a.m. 7 12 2020. Can y'all see that? Okay, hopefully we can see it. Um, um, I asked the question, or I, I made the statement before, while I was shuffling the card. It says Naira Rivera went on a boat on a Wednesday with her son. Um, her she did not get back in the boat. Her body has yet to be found. And I asked the question of what really happened to her and whether or not her body will be found. Um, or will we get answers about her death if she is indeed passed away? So these are the cards I pulled. I did a five card pull. I ended up with the hangman. The queen of cups in reverse. The strength card. The Five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, so if you watch my other channel, which is My Twisted Life in TV, I have a segment on there called PNTV, which is Poetry, News, and Twisted Views. And I spoke on the Naya Rivera case, and I stated that um, I believed I had a feeling that this was a suicide attempt. Um, because from my understanding her body would have floated to the water by now this is sunday this happened wednesday and it is it's just not resurfacing so my thought at the time was that she was anchored somewhere whether she was being held in by something a branch or a leaf or some type of debris or what have you or she had anchored herself so that way she would not float back to the top um, and that's what this hangman card is showing me. Uh, she's indeed anchored somewhere. She's caught onto something. But because the hangman is holding the key in his hand, it's telling me that she indeed um, do this to herself. I hate to say that. I apologize for any family members that may be watching this video that does not want to hear what I'm saying um again this is just my interpretation we don't have all the facts in this case yet but I wanted to do this video and in the end um, I'm going to stay on it for a few weeks to see exactly what shows up um in this case and the queen of cups I am showing that um it's, for me is representing that she is indeed still underwater or she was underwater um or she wants people to believe she's still underwater i'm showing that her son was reaching out for her um and that she's possibly pregnant now um, that's what i'm showing there um with the strength card what it's telling me is that she indeed had a conversation with her young cub with her son and telling him that he needed to be strong for mommy. It's going to be a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness is going to come his way. But he just needs to remain strong. And he promised her that he would. Um, I'm also showing that with the five of cups, that there is going to be a lot of grief and loss happening down at that lake. Um, that loved ones may come to uh, bid, bid her farewell. Um, there's going to be a release of blooms. Um, I'm also showing that in the will of fortune that her fate may be unknown. Um, I also see that because, like I said, she is upside down. That's like head first into the water is what I'm showing. That the stars and the sun are above her. At this time, she was dealing with some mental issues. Um, she has a regret of not being married.
She's not worried about her son being taken care of. She knows that love surrounds him and there's money that's going to help provide for the son. So that's least of the worries. This also could mean that she may be alongside the shore. She may show up at the shore. But I'm really getting more of the feeling of people coming down to that lake and paying respects to her. That's what the main feeling I'm getting at this time with that card. This strength card is really, really pulling at my heart. Because, like I say, the more I look at it, the more I look at it, I just see that as her having a conversation, trying to comfort her son before it even happened explaining to him what this all will mean for him um i also show the number three we have the hangman if you add up the 12 that's three um but if you just add the 12 with the 8 on the strength card. With the 10 on the will of fate card. That's the number 30. Which breaks down to the number 3. We also show the 3 cups. that Which have been spilled there. And Naya Rivera was age 33. At the time of her passing. At the time of her gone missing. Um, let me see if I could pull up something else here. I have some other notes that I want to address as far as like yes or no questions. The hangman, um, it's saying it's highly, it's unknown whether or not she's anchored or she committed suicide. We probably would never know that. Um, and with the strength card. I'm um, saying, so yes, she indeed had that conversation that I spoke of with her son. She indeed had that conversation uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, will we get answers? Maybe. Um, they may come at any time without notice. Will she resurface, our body resurface? It, it may happen at any time unnoticed. But with the hangman um, sealing the fate it's 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 highly unlikely that she will be discovered anytime soon but when she is it's going to be without notice she's just going to appear uh, the cups also represents to me that this is summertime which indeed it is it is the summer it is happening around water which indeed it is um on the west coast which it indeed it is and like uh if you wonder where i'm getting this from i have my own chart that i designed for me to determine um location and the seasons and things of that nature okay in addition to um the the cups represent capricorn scorpio or pisces let me check here. So let me show you my chart here. If you can see that. Uh, I'll show it. I'll show it to you guys. So we have the cups. Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces. The summertime. And the water. You see that there? And the W for west. That being out west. Um, so... Give me a brief moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I popped it up. She was born January 12th, 1987. She's definitely a uh, Capricorn. 33 years of age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want this to be seen as insensitive. This is why I try not to read for people, but... God, I'm thinking that she was pregnant already, man. Seeing those fertility fish were jumping... Sorry, I didn't mean to make my camera pop back up on my face, but yeah. So, I'm going to come back and we keep an eye on this every week and see 
exactly what um, comes up or comes out of this and see how accurate this reading has been okay oh, thank y'all for watching thank y'all for being here talk to you again soon